New reaction tonight as state police investigate a suspicious death in Charlestown. It's a story we first brought you as breaking on 12 News at 4. The victim was discovered in a home in the 200 block of Biscuit City Road, right off South County Trail here. Charlestown police and state police were on the scene for most of the day, but are being tight-lipped on the details of the investigation. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts spoke to neighbors and someone who says she's a friend of the victim. Amanda joins us now with what they had to say. Amanda? Well, Mike Shannon, it's still very early in the investigation, so few details from police right now. All they're confirming is that the death is suspicious. I spoke with a woman who said she's best friends with the victim and is distraught by today's news. On a rural road in Charlestown Monday, a crime scene as Rhode Island State Police investigate a suspicious death. It's just a tough day for myself and all her friends and family to deal with this. Police not yet identifying the victim or saying how she died, but Kelly Fanning says the victim was her best friend. She was a really good person, good heart, not a troublemaker. I feel terrible for her family. She didn't deserve this, and I'm just heartbroken. 40 years of friendship, gone. Police focused their investigation at 279 Biscuit City Road, a home set back into the woods. The long driveway closed off with caution tape, and outside of the house, the state police mobile crime laboratory. I was completely surprised. I haven't gotten to know neighbors on that side of the street, but it's been a really quiet place to live. Nathan Lamb and his young family moved to the neighborhood earlier this year. He says he was shocked to see the investigation being conducted a few doors down, but says he still feels safe here. My initial reaction, because they're my kids, I want to protect my kids, is, is kind of fear that someone capable of doing that was living so close. It, I think it doesn't really change our sense of what kind of place this is to live. It feels like there's good, there's good people all around us. So we're, we're, we're mostly sad, you know. State police tell me they will have more on this investigation tomorrow. Live in studio, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.